Welcome to UK Explored. In this video, you're going to see one of the most rundown, deprived, and shocking areas we filmed today on this channel. The town in question is called Lye, which is in the borough of Dudley in the West Midlands. First of all, I want to give a quick shout out to a couple of viewers for recommending we visit Lye. First of all, Alex, who described it as an area of black country decay, and Lee, who also chipped in and said that it's seriously scary there, and they're not wrong. Here is a look at the main high street in Lye, which is the source of most of the problems and is literally the most rundown small town shopping district I've ever seen. When I started to look deeper into Lye, I found headlines like these from the national newspapers, describing the area like some kind of lawless urban hell where people poo in the street, which sounds ridiculous, but they're actually spot on. Things got so bad in Lye that Dudley Council has had to implement a public space protection order in reaction to the severity of the anti-social problems there. Here are the signs that are all around the high street. Anyone caught drinking, taking drugs, being antisocial, urinating, or even defecating on the street could be hit with a £1,000 fine. Do we really live in a time where a council has to put an order like this in place to stop people taking a on the street? Apparently so. Walking down the high street, you'll see there are loads of closed down and boarded up shops, which isn't that unusual in this current climate. And most of the shops that are open even look like they haven't changed in 30 years. Like does anyone here use a typewriter? Or they look so run down that I probably wouldn't go in. You can tell it's a very diverse and multicultural area. I don't need to state the obvious. There are loads of world food shops catering to various demographics and you have a mosque. I've heard there are some good places to eat on the high street and I don't doubt it. Just look at this restaurant here. It's an award, a war winning restaurant. It wasn't open when we were there. Maybe we'll pop in next time, but it does have awesome reviews on Google. I'm not going to lie. There is also a serious litter and fly tipping problem in Lai, which doesn't really come as a surprise. These clips just don't do justice to how much junk and litter we saw everywhere. We had to literally avoid stepping on broken glass and I don't know what else we saw on the floor. I think someone misread this anti fly tipping sign. They must have thought it said to fly tip right next to the sign. These are car parks that are being used by customers visiting businesses off of the high street. Do I even need to ask what kind of message this sends? Or why people don't clear this stuff up? These fridge freezer units have been dumped here for so long that they've literally become part of the scenery. They have plants growing all around them. People have been setting fires nearby. It's crazy. It feels and looks like the council has given up on lie. For things to be this bad and in this state for this long, something's gone very wrong. What are they doing with the money they're getting from catching people breaking the PSPO? If anyone is actually paying up. And if no one is getting caught and paying up, it means that these anti-social issues aren't stopping, right? As if the high street wasn't bad enough, the estate surrounding the high street looked like a literal war zone. There are endless rows of the most depressing and run-down flats. We heard loud music blasting from various places, people screaming at each other, kids were running lawlessly around the streets, and I can't lie, it just smelled awful. Obviously the barbed wire and high fencing doesn't exactly make the area feel welcoming, but it's there to serve a purpose because the crime rate is high in and around Lye High Street. I couldn't get the localised stats for the immediate area around the high street, but as you can see here, Lye and Wynall are the most dangerous neighbourhoods in Stowbridge, with a crime rate of around 145 per 1,000 residents. The kinds of headlines that frequently pop up in the local news is stuff like Residents being arrested for violent incidents, general assaults, and using deadly weapons. I read several cases of vulnerable people being exploited and trafficked. There are loads of drug busts with some huge hauls that were clearly intended for mass distribution. And I could go on and on. But it's not just the crime that's going to put people off wanting to visit or move into the area. It's the general decay across the whole of life and the lack of opportunities and hope for the future. 
I've seen plenty of areas going downhill across the UK over the years, and the alarming thing is that I have never seen an area turn things around. Looking at these living conditions right here, I mean this is years of neglect from the residents and, and the council. How does an estate like this get a makeover that's going to last and motivate the community to do their part in maintaining it? I know I haven't exactly sold the area to you, but if you're interested in house prices, the average for light over the last year was in the 156,000 range. So that was Lai. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And we, you know, we enjoyed our day out there. It was quite an eye opener. As you can see, we do visit areas recommended by you, the viewers. So do drop a comment recommending any areas you think we should visit next. In the meantime, please take a moment to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps us to reach more people on YouTube and in turn that motivates us to get out there and film more. So cheers.